Welcome everyone, my name is Imran Chaush. In this video, we are going to see how to install Notepad++ on your old Mac. This is part 2 of my video 1. In video 1, I have show how you will install Notepad++ on M1, M2 chip. So in this video, we are going to see two method uh, where we can install Notepad++ on old Mac. And third is alternative to Notepad++. So let's go to screen and start the process. In this video, we will see about Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. So how to install Notepad++ on this old Mac version. So let's see we have Notepad++ already installed or not. So we don't have already installed. But for installing that, we require three software Win. HQ and Xquads. Uh, these are the two software which we require and third one is Notepad++ EXE. So let's download those software first. So first go to the Google and type win win HQ download for Mac. Win HQ download for Mac. Click on first link you will see www.winhq.org. Click on download after clicking on download select your operating systems in our case we have mac operating system we will select that now scroll down go to the install deprecated and install for wine stable okay click on that it will start downloading that wine hq stable 5.0 dot package click on save button it will start uh, downloading that package so go to the download you will see uh, it's started downloading that software okay once it will uh, uh, complete we will download uh, notepad plus plus version uh, download 32 bit okay now also we will save that because this is old mac version so we need 32 bit not 64 now another software which we require is xquat okay xquats that software we can also download all the links are in the description so click on xquats once you click on xquat download uh, click on that package it will start downloading okay it will take some time but uh, no issues it uh, all the softwares are uh, uh, small uh, in the size okay so let's see this is our mac version older version okay so it's not allowed to install win hq first we need to install xquat uh, before installing that so it's uh, saying the same message so after installing xquat the steps are very simple click on continue after that we just need to follow the on screen instruction continue 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 then i agree and install type your mac password i'm typing my password install software after that it uh, installation was successful close that move to the trash now win hq will able to install on our mac system so double click on that follow the same step continue 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 it will install don't click 64 we have 32 bit continue install type your password install software it will install that as well successfully okay close that move to the trash now we have only notepad exe file okay now we will go to the wine and it will open before that xcot is there and wine is there so open wine we don't have notepad plus plus yet so open that now just type wine space and your notepad exe E dot exe location okay just hit enter it will start downloading notepad plus plus okay installer language please select a language okay we will keep it background simple so follow the ongoing instruction click on okay next i agree next next install okay finish now it's uh, downloaded okay maximize the screen we have file new file now type this is notepad plus plus in old mac okay maximize or minimize the work okay screen now it's good now move to the trash now we will uninstall all the software because we are going to see another method okay i'm uh, speeding the process now 
we don't have any notepad plus uh, this software any any none of this so this is second way to install that so run microsoft windows software on crossover so free trial click on that uh, give your uh, username and email it will start uh, downloading that software as well so it will take some time but i am speeding up my process okay once it will download so we will extract that software as well so this is our uh, the previous one is our first method and this is our second method so once it downloaded go to that screen okay go to your download folder download folder okay it will take some time so be patience okay now we just double click on that with that we have crossover now okay we move to the trash empty the trash now double click on crossover once you've done that it will come up some screen open crossover open then okay try for okay try now now type notepad plus plus notepad plus plus okay so we have notepad plus plus we will click on that now install it will take some time okay just click on okay follow ongoing instruction next i agree next next install okay it will install the notepad plus plus finish click on finish now okay it's saying update update is available so click on that also uh, uh, download the update okay uh, for that we have to follow the same ongoing screen next i agree next next install it will install updated the updated version of notepad plus plus okay once it done click on finish and here you can write okay okay this is uh, if you go here and you can click so it will uh, from crossover you need to open that notepad plus plus it will not show uh, on your launch pad okay so file new file write something this is notepad plus plus on old mac okay this is notepad plus plus on old mac now we will also uninstall this so how to uninstall this go to application and select for that and move that folder in trash and empty the trash so right now we don't have anything now the third method the alternate to notepad plus plus which is sublime text so this is the alternate for notepad plus plus down go to this website type sublime text editing it uh, download for mac now okay it will start downloading so just click on save once it downloaded double click on that we have sublime text logo now double click on that so we have to follow okay open open we have to follow whatever instruction is there if it is not open in case because we are downloading from internet so we you have to go to general system preferences general type your password then app store and identify developer you have to click there okay open in in my case it's working fine okay in our case it's completely working fine now uh, it's not there in the application so you can put it on uh, to your dock type something this is alternate for notepad plus plus click cancel don't save okay in uh, we will try to save as well now quit now we will keep that on our dock so how to do that so we will we will go to our download page uh, where uh, the logo is there if you go to the download sublime text and put it on to the dock now we have sublime text as well click on that uh, write something test and try to we will try to save that file as well now test and then uh, close that file save where we want to save it we want to save it on our desktop so we'll be able to see that okay test file save okay it's complete thanks for watching